Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how you can easily integrate HubSpot with MailChimp, so let's start. The first thing you want to do is go to top right to App Marketplace and then you would see and just write right here MailChimp. The one problem if you're gonna do it this way is that it's not the quality is not that high. You see it also in the reviews, three stars and I don't really recommend doing this this way. What I recommend to do is to using Zapier for this. And let me explain step by step process how we are going to do it. First, you just come here to Zapier and you create an account. And now when you're going to log in, go to the top left and click make a zap. When you're going to click make a zap, so I'm going to search HubSpot. Okay, and now trigger event. When there is going to be a new contact added in HubSpot, let's say like that, say, okay, I'm working in sales and I want to integrate MailChimp with HubSpot. So when there is going to be a new contact, then I'm going to choose the account that I uh, connected with Zapier. Choose value. You need to also like test it out. Additional properties. Uh, if you want to you can add it here, click continue, set up the trigger. I'm going to test the trigger, but first, to, when I'm going to test it now, I'm going to get an error rifing. What I need to do, oh, we found a contact. This is the contact, the new I created. If you don't see it here, you need to actually test and create a fake contact to see if it actually works, okay? So, okay, I got a contact B, pulled in eight seconds ago, or I can simply load more or I can create a new one and I would find it right here. I'm going to, you would see all the address here created by ID everything, click continue. And when you're gonna do it, the second action is to choose uh, the MailChimp here. So I'm going to write MailChimp and now choose an event. I'm going to add or update subscribers. So when there is going to be a new contact in HubSpot, I want to add subscriber in MailChimp. Press continue. Then MailChimp account, I can simply choose MailChimp Marcus Stone. That's like my account on MailChimp that I also connected. You need to connect Zapier with MailChimp too. Click continue. And now audience, you choose the audience that you have in MailChimp. Subscriber email. Uh, okay, so this is the this is mail. Double opt-in. If you want to, you can have it. Update existing, yes. Replace groups. You can simply choose everything you want. First name is going to be the contact information. First name, last name, last name. And you can add phone number. So this would be the phone number you can find here. And that address, the same style. So everything you're going to fill it, the next time that you're going to add contact in HubSpot, you will directly see it in MailChimp. And birthday, again, you just find here what age, and then you can create, what you can do is this, guys. So let's say that you add a birthday, birthday uh, in HubSpot. And what will happen is this. You add a contact through Zapier and with birthday. So when there is going to be a new contact in HubSpot, you will create contact in MailChimp with the birthday of the your client. And then you create a campaign in MailChimp to send birthday emails to oh, every single one of whom is going to have birthday on specific date. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to a person for it. It's going to be everything automated, right? I'm going to press continue. Okay. I can skip test or test and review. And now this is how we do it. Now you just simply share it. And already turn on your zap on yes. And this is how we do it. So you can also share it or etc. And you can turn it off on the right side. But this is how we can simply use Zapier and integrate with MailChimp. Thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.